Hey guys, Molly here, Design Loves Detail. I've got a new design board. This is a bedroom that I put together for a really reasonable price and it's all neutrals and really pretty. So stay tuned for check it out. Welcome back. I know a lot of you guys were enjoying that recent video. It seemed like we got a lot of good feedback anyway on the one where I was actually styling the room. And like I said, I'm gonna do that for all of the flip rooms that I can. So that'll be really fun. If you guys are liking the content, go ahead and give us a like and a comment if you will, because it's seriously so helpful for our engagement. I'd love to be able to put more time into YouTube right now. We're filming on like Sundays cause it's the only time we can fit it in. But I'm hoping that we can build up our channel and be able to do like longer form videos and a little more in depth stuff soon. So if you can help spread the word about Design Loves Detail, that is fantastic. It's growing slowly but steadily. And I know you guys all believe in me, which is great. Well, most of you, we have a, you know, you haven't arrived if you haven't had your few haters. But honestly, most of the feedback we get is so kind and I'm so grateful, it means a lot to me. So thank you for believing us. And, I, and I've gotten a few comments where you guys are like, why don't you have a million followers or a million subscribers? I always say followers, but subscribers. I wish, I don't know, but hopefully one day. <laughs> it means a lot to me though, cause like, I know that well, it feels like you really like what we're, we're doing. So thank you. And definitely, especially when it's stuff you really love, if you can engage, that'll help us to know what kind of content is resonating with you. That was my spiel for the day. Welcome. And uh, we'll get down to business with our usual. This bedroom is so budget friendly. I actually hadn't totaled it all up until today. I shared this the other day on Instagram, just was like, hey, I made a new design because I found some crazy deals and started kind of putting it together. And it turned out that it was only $2,500 for the whole room, which I think is pretty darn good. Cause sometimes like, you know, there's a lot of places that will have like a $2,500 bed and then you have to buy a lot of other things still. So this is the whole darn room. Here we go. Let's dive into this one. First up is this rug that I think is looking real cute, real cute. This rug, it's a really good deal. It's $39.99. And this one's actually, it's a five by seven, which is a smaller size rug. But if you have a smaller bedroom, I've used like a five by seven, five by eight, and you just turn it um, so that it's perpendicular to the bed. And if it's a full or queen size bed or a twin, that's a good size. Definitely, I'm trying to find this one in larger sizes. So I'm, I'm gonna look for that and, and hopefully post this or at least similar in larger sizes in case you're doing a bigger room. But for $40, this is a steal. It's neutrals. It's kind of got just like a real modern look with the shapes, the triangles and the lines. And I, I really like it. I think it's a good foundation for this room. And I, like I said, I kept it really neutral because I mean, I do like, I just, I like neutral things. It's just, it is what it is. But especially in the bedroom, I feel like, you know, I do bring in color here and there, but in the bedroom, I really, I like a Zen space. I know some people like to feel energized. So it's kind of just like what um, resonates with you, but I love to just feel totally relaxed. This queen bed that you'll see, I've actually used this in a project. I'll try and find a picture of it. Um, I redid my sister's room as a surprise, which was a fun video from a while back. Um, we did a time lapse of it. It was when we were like brand new to YouTube, but I mean, I still kind of feel like we're new to YouTube, but we were real new. And this one is upholstered and it's super simple, minimal, and it's a good price. The reviews like are kind of mixed. I feel like it was a good value because it's $4.79 for the queen size. I think that for an actual bed, not just a headboard, that's a really impressive price point to hit under the 500. Uh, just with as you know, we've seen the prices increasing and stuff. I think that this is still pretty reasonable and every once in a while it will go on sale. So I do try and keep an eye on that. But you've got like mostly five star reviews, but then there are some people that gave it one star. So I need to dive into that. But my sister has had it for gosh, two or three years now and, and they've been happy with it. So I think it has a great look and we got the queen size. So I wonder if it there, sometimes there can be, I've noticed with beds like you know, an issue with one of the sizes, like the king size or something versus the queen. I don't know, but yeah, like this one's like, love this bed. It's very sturdy and pretty easy to set up. And that was our experience with it too. I feel like it has a nice look to it that is versatile, goes with just about everything. It's kind of like it's a, a look for less version of that other one that I've shared a lot, that um, wing back headboard or wing back bed from Wayfair. So this is almost like a look for less of that. But like I said, when we used it in the project, I thought it looked great and it's held up for my sister. So artwork, this is one that I've used. We used it in the flip house, you might recall. It is back in stock as of right now. Sometimes these ones go quick, but um, it's showing in stock and it's at TJ Maxx. Um, it's a 30 inch by 40 inch. I actually flipped it sideways. I can't remember exactly how the hardware is on this, but I think it can go either way when you hang it. I, I put it long ways so that it kind of hugged the board, the headboard more like down. 
but you could go either way with it or you could put two art prints above because there is, so they do sometimes have the same one in different colors, like in the inverse and the black, or I've seen it in the beige gray type colors, but it's $60, $59.99. So it's a good, it's a good deal for that size of art for sure. And it's just modern and simple, high contrast. Abstracts are not for everyone, but if you're doing, especially if you're doing like a guest room or like a Verbo property, then this really keeps it where it's real neutral. So you have, I don't know, there's another one that could work too um, that I'm linking that is an abstract 24 by 36, a little bit smaller size. That is kind of like the swoopy. Um, this one's cute too. It's like, it's like scribble art, but it's actually really pretty. And I've seen it in a lot of like high end homes. So it's, it's very hot right now, whether it's your thing or not. I think it's kind of fun. So probably my favorite piece and actually what I designed this whole room around is this mango wood side table. I ordered these. So I will show you them in person. I think I'm gonna use them in the flip. They were just such a good deal. They have that cool gold frame, modern, and then they have the beautiful cane detailing on the drawer front, a little cute gold knob. And I love mango wood. You may or may not have noticed I share a lot of mango wood things. Um, just because you know it's real wood when it says mango wood and it's got that nice variation in it. It does, some people don't love the variation. I do just cause it's real organic, natural. You can see like there's a picture of the tabletop that kind of gives you a sampling of what that mango wood might look like. In fact, these are mango wood to my nightstands. I think there's a little piece of that in the video. So these are 149. I think that's a pretty good size. They're 22 inches wide by 22 inches high. So not a huge size, but still like substantial enough for most rooms. And in this case, you know, I was kind of designing more like a guest room. And I, so I think they're a really good complement with that queen size bed. I probably would go with something larger scale like these um, if I was doing a king size bed. Oh, the lamps are really cute. So this is a look for less of a McGee & Co one that I have. I got the expensive one. Gosh, I mean, it's so crazy to me because just to see the increase in prices, because since I I look at prices every single day, I know exactly like what something cost a year ago and it's wild, like the increase on some products. Um, some of them have doubled, even tripled in some cases, it, which is hard to even fathom. But the good thing is this is like a look for less of that McGee & Co lamp. And I, so I, when I bought that lamp, it was under 200 and now it's like 300 and something. And this one now, the look for less, which which I think is a really good dupe and has 4.8 stars on reviews, the Kelsey 25 inch table lamp. It's 146 right now. That price does vary a little bit. So sometimes it'll be, I've seen it for a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. So just kind of keep an eye on stuff, but um, it's got that same shaped base and gives a really cute look to, to the design. Big fan of that. And the dresser that I put on here is one that mixes a little bit of cane detail with that black six drawer double dresser. I've seen this one in person at market and I thought it looked good. I haven't, I don't remember if I opened the drawers or not. It's 4.4 stars on review, so it's pretty darn good. Um, but I love that the mix, that it has kind of the accent of the cane detail that would tie into the nightstands, but then it's still a little bit different because it has the black accent. So another, I think really good option. It is on sale right now as well and a backup option option. Um, if you want something that's more of a solid color, the Eliza eight drawer dresser, this one has that fluted detail. It's on sale right now for 35% off, which is great. It's one that's on my list because I just love the detail in it. 4.8 stars on reviews. So it's, it's definitely um, a good one. And they have some good pictures in reviews. Whenever there's review pictures, always check them out because you can really see. And I think this one looks beautiful, looks really high quality in the reviews. So that would be another option that I think would go cute with the room. The bench at the end of the bed, loving that it's got the teak wood with um, kind of a woven detail in like the bench part being that black color. And so it ties in with the lamps and kind of those little um, pops of black that I mixed in like with the dresser. It's just really cute, I think. And that one's a real reasonable price as well, 279. Um, and we have some accents that I just put into the design for you as well that are saved for like the dresser top and that sort of thing. We've got the decor boxes. I love these. You probably have heard me talk about them before. Great for just like storing little things. Um, you can have them on the nightstand for jewelry, for the small one, maybe you keep your remotes or whatever, just like little stuff so your uh, dresser tops remain clutter free. And then they just bring a cute detail. Right now, Marshalls and TJ Maxx have them, which is rare. Usually I've ordered mine from like Home Depot or Walmart. 
other, like I usually get the mother of pearl ones instead of the bone boxes. I have a few bone boxes and I do love them, but they're just way more expensive. So the mother of pearl is like a good in-between option. And these are a really good price for the set of two at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I will link those. We've also got one of my favorite bowls um, that goes in and out of stock a lot because it's really popular. It's the earthenware. I think I shared this in maybe my Christmas tour because I, I used it on the countertop um, with ornaments in it. It's really cute just on its own. You could sit on top of some books. Um, just has a great shape to it because it has a little bit of a pedestal base. It really looks really high-end. It looks like those that vintage um, black pottery, if you guys have seen that, like the, um, I think they're called water pots, yeah. The vintage water pots, but this is like a bowl version. It's 20 bucks at Target. And so if you see that in stock, definitely a good one to grab. I've really loved mine and it's just super versatile. Again, bringing that pop of black. And Zoo Lily has some good, faux little olive trees and sometimes they get that little thyme tree. This one is just a potted 19 and a half inch olive tree. Really cute for a dresser top. I had this one on our dresser at our last house so I no longer own it actually. Maybe I need to replenish my mini olive tree stock but it really is so weird when I can't remember what stuff I have and I don't have because we sell it with the houses a lot. So that's in my old house. The pillow that I put on the bed. I love, you know, the long one just because it's easy and it's cute also. This one has really good reviews. In fact, it's like virtually five stars, uh, 4.8. And it's a Target Studio McGee collection when just a stripe khaki oversized long pillow. You can kind of see how it looks on a bed. A really good, good one, $30 for finishing off the bed. And then books. I, I use books in my decor so much. They just well, I like to have them around because I just like looking at pictures. I'm sure there's some readers too. I think it's because I have an English degree. I don't know if you guys knew that. I'm, I probably shared that before. Um, I think I got a little overwhelmed with books in college and so I, <laughs> I haven't read a book for a while. I read stuff, like I read articles and things, but like actual books. I need to get back to that. They're really pretty ones. In fact, I own both of the ones that I will link for you. And um, this Live Beautiful one is a really gorgeous book, really minimal to on the spine. So it's great for having, you know, in decor. A lot of times when I'm styling tabletops, and I'll talk about this more when I decorate for the flip house, but a lot of times you just need a little bit of height so that there's variation and interest in your decor, whatever it may be. And so using something practical like books, something that isn't just decor, but you know, is something that you can read, look at, enjoy, is a great way to incorporate that. And it just has, I also think books just add kind of like a traveled collected feel to a space. So I'm a big fan of decorating with books. And anyway, these are some great ones. You can see I put a couple underneath that bowl like I was talking about on the design board because that's a good way to use them or just on the coffee table, whatever. It gives those layers um, so that your space uh, doesn't feel too like non-lived in. They kind of they kind of give a little bit of a lived in feel, which is uh, lifestyle-y and, and nice and functional. The same time you could also if you wanted to if you wanted to take this from being neutral to more colorful swap out the rug you could leave everything as it is and bring in a little bit of color in the rug it's nice because all the pieces go so well together that you can rotate out what kind of rug or maybe pillow you know rug and pillow swap those out to fit your style anyway hopefully enjoy if you do give us a comment a like oh guess what we have also coming up our foundation is poured it's in there and so it looks like houses coming, which is great because I was realizing that Ben and I can walk you guys through that basement and talk about the basement layout. So you can see what we're doing with that, even though I know it's not like real exciting. It's gonna be, I think, kind of cool to go over what we have planned for that and show you where everything goes on that level. And then soon we're gonna be getting into framing, which is one of my favorite stages because you get a house from where there was nothing. It's so great. Check us out on Instagram at Designless Detail over on designwithdetail.com where we've got our newsletter sign up and also all kinds of content. Like anything that you, if you've seen any projects on YouTube, there's usually a corresponding blog post. You can search that in the top left with the little magnifying glass um, to find what you're looking for. If you need inspiration for bathrooms, bedrooms, whatever, like there's so much there. I think sometimes people forget about our website, but it's got, it's a good resource for inspiration and products and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. See you next time.